Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping back in today. I'm truly grateful. Early on a Friday morning, I'm ready to go do my walk. Tomorrow, I'll be able to do my my long walk. I'm going to walk 22 kilometers to Valahamoso just to gauge my progress and, you know, test my shoes and and time myself. But I want to talk about something today. I just want to give my viewers and subscribers a reminder. And that Filipinos aren't for sale. And what do you mean? Well, y'all know that as foreign men, we think that our money can come over here and just buy any woman in the Philippines. That's not correct, guys. And I just want to kind of remind you, because I know a lot of these other channels, they're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you it's a free fall. That every woman over here is on the market. And if you got enough money, you can have any woman over here. That's not true. And where did I even get this from? Because I get a sick email where somebody is inquiring about my daughter over here. Look, guys, she's a minor. She's still in high school. And she doesn't want you. Okay, the Filipinos over here who want you will let you know they want you. Okay, that's the way to be safe. That's the way to stay out of trouble. Okay, because I'm going to talk to you as a father, and I'm no different than any other father over here. A lot of them don't want you old foreign men dealing with their daughters. You know, I got a whole lot of respect now for these Filipino vloggers. You know, because after I got this email, I'm thinking, do they really know who they're talking to out there in their audience? Do they know some creeps out there? And they know that they have to really, really be careful because we, with our arrogance, we think that we can have any woman over here and every, and every woman over here wants us. Look, guys, despite their financial situation, yeah, there, a lot of them are poor. Yeah, a lot of them are struggling. Yeah, a lot of them live in the province, in the mountains, in a Kubo. But that doesn't mean that they want a foreign man to rescue them. They're full of pride. They want to pull themselves up by them foot. Uh, by the bootstraps, I'm sorry. This is a, an important message that I have to give you today because it's going to save somebody. It's going to save you from getting your feelings hurt. It may even save you from getting shot or cut in half with a damn bolo. Every woman over here is not available to you. Every woman over here does not want a foreign man. We don't have access to every woman. You can't buy any woman over here that you want. The ones who are for sale and who want to enter into those uh, unspoken agreements will let us know that, guys. They're going to let you know. Usually they're on the dating sites. Usually they're asking through a friend. But it's only a small percentage of women over here who really want to deal with us. The rest of them don't want anything to, de to do with you. You know, I had to take my damn thumbnail down off of my video because I'm thinking, how does this guy even know? I've got a daughter over here. And I looked at my thumbnail, and there it was. I, I had a little family photo from Booby's birthday party. I had to take that down because some of you guys are creeps. Some of you guys don't know your boundaries. There's a line in the sand over here. The women who want you and the women who don't. And the women that don't far outnumber the women that do. But, yeah, I've got a lot of respect. I see now why the Filipino P doesn't do meet and greets and all of that. She's probably not safe from some of you guys out there, man. I can imagine what these Filipino bloggers are going through. They're probably getting stalked. They're probably getting harassed. When Sharon Lapu-Lapu says, hey, I agreed to uh, an interview, not sex, you know, I know she's telling the truth, man. You guys think that you can come over here and just put your hands on any woman over her, man. It's disrespectful. It's arrogant. And it's just, just a reminder, man. You don't even have to watch this video. You can keep clicking through it. You can continue to watch them other channels that give you that impression. Every woman over here don't want you. You don't have access to every woman over here. Very few of them really want to deal with you. It doesn't matter that they're poor. A lot of them are poor. A lot of them are struggling. It don't matter. They still don't want you. Your money cannot buy majority of these women over here and the ones that can they're going to let you know yeah i'm pissed off man as a father 
I don't care if, if my daughter was old enough and she showed interest in one of you guys because they're going to show the interest. Then I don't have a problem with it. But when you start inquiring and thinking like, oh, you know, she's available. All I got to do is get your permission or something like that. No, man, you have you out of bounds, dude. I'm, I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for a lot of men over here who have daughters like that. They don't want you dealing with them. If she wants to deal with you, she's going to deal with you. She'll get on the dating site. She'll let somebody know. She'll do an interview or something like that. But just because we see these Filipino bloggers and parading these young women back and forth, in front of the camera. These are the ones who are interested. These are the ones who are saying we're for sale. But the majority, the vast majority of women over here are not for sale. Your money can't buy them. Okay. They don't think it's okay to be with an older man. Or an old man. Under no circumstances. And I'm not putting down the Filipinos that do it. I'm just saying the ones that do will let you know. Don't come over here man. Overstepping your boundaries. Stay in your lane. Know your limits, man. Are you going to get hurt over here? People aren't playing that. It's tolerated, but it's not accepted. They don't want you over here breathing down the necks of their young daughters. I mean, some of you guys are predators, man. You should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not. And you think I'm preaching. you damn right I'm preaching today. Because I want to help somebody. It's enough women over here that are available to you guys that you don't have to be creepy. That you don't have to be basically pedophiles, man. Some of you got stalkers. I'm pissed off, yeah. I get that damn email, man. Don't send me no emails like that. Because I'll hunt you down doing stupid shit like that. Because you see a woman on a picture or in a video or something like that. Don't mean she's available to you or that she wants you. Get out of here. <laughs> get her. Damn dogs. I believe my Shirley is. I believe she's in heat. All these damn dogs are coming around. Hold on. The women who are interested will let you know they're interested. But the majority of them are not. Don't matter that they live in the mountains. Don't matter that they don't have two pesos to rub against each other. They're not for sale. They don't want you. Okay? Your money can't buy them. Okay, I just want to give you a reminder, man. Because you you know who you are. You overstepped the bounds when you did that. You can't come over here and just think that anybody's 18-year-old daughter or whatever it is is available to you. How arrogant of that to think that. You know, and you can say whatever you want to say. This is why people don't like me because I tell the truth. I'm not going to tell you, yeah, just come on over here. Because you see these women parading in front of these damn cameras don't mean nothing. They have no idea. They're so naive. They don't have no idea. They're doing it for the money. They don't have no idea who they're preaching to over there, who they're talking to over there. They have no idea. Because if they did, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, so let me say right now, let me give a, a public apology to any Filipino vlogger out there. I know what y'all dealing with. I don't see how you can do it, but I'm warning you. There's going to come a time when one of you are going to get hurt. One of these creepy crazies out there that you are uh, preaching to out there, that you're appealing to, that you're uh, talking to over there, they're going to show up over here. It's going to be trouble. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. Yeah, I'm preaching today. Stay out of my emails and messages with that foolishness, man. If a woman over here wants you or she's interested in you, she's going to let you know. You don't have access to every woman over here. Every woman over here don't want you. You can bring them fancy pensions and all that you want. Every Filipina over here does not want a foreigner to save them. So if you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head at the pillow, please find somebody to help. But if you don't want them late grocery run, beer run, weed run. Just getting off second shift. Are you on your lunch break? And you see somebody out in the street or wherever you see them. Buy them something to eat. Buy them something to drink. Give them a few dollars. In the Philippines, it's early. It's about 6.30 a.m. Beautiful Friday morning. Now, day goes by. We don't have somebody here. Tonight is the 10th and final week of our 
50,000 Peso Sunshine Shoulders giveaway to celebrate our 50,000 subscribers. We're going to give one of our Filipino subscribers 5,000 pesos tonight, man. It's big. Y'all not excited? I'm excited about it because I know that's going to change somebody's life. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. September 16th at about 4.30 a.m. I'm going to take off from here walking from San Carlos City to Dumaguete. I need your help. I need your support. I need your encouragement. Okay, challenge yourself today. Get off the couch. Okay, do something that you never thought you could possibly do. Life goes by too quick, man. You never know what you can do unless you try.